All right, so today we are gonna be finishing up what I would assume are the last two stages of the Fighting Spirit of the Saiyans and Pride of the Wicked Bloodline event. And the reason I think that there's gonna be no more stages is because stage five is called Pride of the Wicked Bloodline and stage six is called Fighting Spirit of the Saiyans, which is the name of the event. So where do you really go from there, right? So anyways, uh, why don't we jump in, starting with stage 5, which is versus the uh, core metal cooler. And this is the team we're going to be running. We got the Zabul, LR Super Saiyan Goku, and Vegeta's, LR Bird Koo, STR Piccolo, Tech Vegeta, uh, AGL Pycon, and finally, the Tech God Koo. The items are a Whis, an Icarus, and also the Bulma Support Memory. So. Without further ado, let's jump in and see how things go. Now, I have heard a lot of um, horror stories, I guess, not specifically about this stage. I think people were mainly referring to the next stage, right, stage six, and how it's like supposedly harder than the Cell Max event, and I'm not sure if I believe it, but we'll find out soon. We'll find out soon. So, uh, on this first turn, I think I'm gonna go for because there's only one phase. I think we should go for a damage reduction item immediately. So we go for the Icarus. Let's put um, God Ku in the first slot, and or maybe Pycon. I don't know, guys, because I don't really trust Pycon there. But at the same time, I want to keep my Goku and Vegeta. In rotation so um, it's a tough call I think we're going to leave Pycon at the end there and just hope that he doesn't get absolutely destroyed we do have the Whis active or rather the Icarus active and a super is gonna go on the God Koo, which is ideal that's what we want and he's taking 70 damage perfect okay so so far so good so far, so good. Of course, I do expect things to, you know, uh, ramp up at some point. But right now, it's been... Oh my god, he has so much, he has so much HP, guys. <laughs> I, just, I just realized we did, like, no damage with that Godku super. We're doing more damage with the Goku and Vegeta. But... Yeah, this is going to take a minute. This is going to take a minute. We might be here for a while. Now, if we get lucky and we get a bunch of additional supers um, from the Goku and Vegeta, who are clearly going to be the main damage dealers here, then maybe it won't be too bad. Oh. So it's like that. So it's like that, okay. <laughs> uh, I was like, yo, PyCon has, you know, type advantage. He shouldn't take that much damage. Boy, was I wrong. <laughs> Boy, was I wrong. <laughs> All right, so here's a super. Um, if we die here, we do have Bird Koo's revival skill, so we, you know, we'll be fine. At least for this turn. Um, but I'm trying to think what I'll do for the next turn. Because we run out of Icarus next turn. So maybe I'll double item next turn. Maybe we double item next turn. Because we're going to be pretty low on HP. I'm actually kind of hoping we die somehow. So that we get the revival skill and heal up, right? But I don't think that's going to happen. Although we do have the Bulma item actually. The Bulma support memory, which I think should activate next turn. Mm, okay, okay. So we took a lot of damage there. Yeah, please kill me, man. Please kill me. We gotta, we gotta heal up. <laughs> we gotta heal up. Cooler, just end my misery. This guy actually left me with like. That left me with like. 20% HP. 
Okay, well, um, oh, and we can't move the Vegeta. Okay, so, yeah, this is the move. Double Whis is the move. Double Whis is the move. With Double Whis, we'll be just fine. Okay, so, let's do that. Uh, just give these two to Vegeta so we can get a nice 18k super for the Goku and Vegeta. Then I'll give these to Godku, I guess. <laughs> now the reason I'm not um, keeping Godku in rotation, even though we probably should just for damage reduction purposes, right? It's because I expect to pretty much kill him by the next turn. Or at the very least, if we come back to this rotation, I want to have Goku and Vegeta here as opposed to... Um, as opposed to... No Goku and Vegeta, you know what I mean? So, yeah. Since we couldn't move the Vegeta, we had to leave him in the first slot. And I had to choose between the Goku and Vegeta or the Godku. And I was like, Goku and Vegeta do way more damage. They're going to increase our chances of actually getting out of this stage alive. So, I think that was the right decision. I think. And we do have one more turn with double Weeses, so... I think... I think we're going to be okay. I think we're going to be okay, especially this upcoming turn. We still have the revival skill, which is beautiful. And... Oh, we can't move... Can't move Bird Coup. That's fine, actually. Revival skill still available. Revival skill still available. And unfortunately, no support from PyCon. I don't think we necessarily need it, honestly. Because these two LRs should kill Metal Cooler here. Keyword word should. Who knows? Anything can happen. Yeah, an additional super will do it. One additional super. We don't need two. Not getting greedy. Just one additional super. Or maybe Pycon. Yeah, okay, Pycon. Alright, it's Pycon's time to shine, guys. He's gonna get the final final kill, even though he literally did nothing. <laughs> but it's all good. It's all good. There you have it. That was the... Ride of the Wicked Bloodline stage. Now we're gonna move on to the Fighting Spear of the Saiyans, which is supposedly very, very difficult. Supposedly very, very difficult. So let's see how that goes. Okay, um, same setup, or at least um, you know, similar items and such. Oh, you know what? Actually, let me quickly just grab some more support memory. Or rather, film for the support memory. There we go. And yeah, we're gonna do a full Metal Cooler army team. Because, you know, those guys are effective. And it's a really strong team right now with the Extreme Z Awakenings. And I wanna showcase just how good it is. So let's do this, guys. Let's do this. Shiny Boys team, roll out. Let's go. Ooh, okay. So, there's two phases to this event. I know that. Um, I guess we'll put the tech one in the first slot. And then int one in the middle is perfect. Uh, yeah, I'll give them five so that we can give these. That's only four orbs. Okay, only four orbs to the phase one, unfortunately. Now, I don't know how hard these guys are going to hit in their first phase. Hopefully not too hard. I mean, it's okay. We do have type advantage, and we're still taking a couple thousand, which is not what you want to see. Um, but we're doing good damage, so it looks like it won't be too bad. It looks like it's not going to be too bad. We get supered. That's going to be interesting. But maybe we're not going to get super this turn. That's wonderful. Okay, awesome. So I'm going to put the yeah, LR friend in the first slot. Because that's the rainbowed cooler. And that's going to be some nice support from the SDR one. 
And then, uh, you know, if one of these guys gets killed... Um, holy balls. If one of these guys gets killed, we'll have the revival skill. If STR Metal Cooler gets killed, then we're just straight up dead. <laughs> that, 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 that would be a wrap. That would be a wrap. Oh no. Yo, don't super STR Cooler. Okay. Well, obviously that was a little bit rough, right? But not necessarily something I didn't see coming. So I think it's time for us to switch over to plan B, which is this team right here, a uh, team that is a lot less free to play friendly, I would say, but definitely gives us a much better chance of clearing this stage. So without further ado, Let's jump in and try this again. Now, I'm not saying that the free-to-play Metal Cooler team can't beat this event. I just feel like it's going to take a lot more attempts. It's going to take some really good RNG, which uh, I don't have the patience for today. So, um, here we go. Let's put... You know, this is not really ideal as far as rotations go. Uh, I think we're going to have to play it like this. That's so many attacks for the STR cooler still. I don't know, guys. This is really bad. <laughs> this is really, really bad. So I'm going to go for a Whis. That's the first thing. And hopefully... Well, hopefully the STR cooler just gets a bunch of additionals. Right? Like a bunch of additional attacks. Especially additional supers. And we can build some defense that way. And then... I guess from there, we can maybe tank some normals, and a super attack might kill us. A super attack, actually, I think, will kill us. Maybe Metal Cooler can get supered. Okay. Okay. Maybe there's no super this turn. Maybe there's no super attack this turn. Yo, come on. Super... Additional supers. Oh, wow. There was actually no super this turn. I did not think it was actually going to happen, but, uh, so, okay. Okay. Lucky us. Super, super lucky for us. Okay. Um... Let's see, I'm going to leave the Fizz Cooler in the first slot so we can potentially get the Revival skill. And then... Hopefully my LR Final Form Cooler. Get some crits, get some additional supers. And finish these things off. So we can move on to the next phase. That would be amazing. That would be amazing. Okay, that's some good damage right there. That's some good damage. 7.2 mil crit would be ideal here. Over 50% 50, 50 chance to crit. Yes? Okay, one more, one more. Thank you. Okay, I think this will be enough. I, I think this is enough. Please be enough. I don't want to use another item. Let's go. Okay, okay, here we go. Now we are facing... The Fizz, or sorry, the Int, Super Saiyan Goku. Um, I think we do this, and then pop the Whis. I kind of want to pop a second item, if I'm being honest. I feel like we need it. I feel like we need it. Because that's so many attacks. Or, I mean, if I'm smart, maybe that's the move, but at the same time, I don't really want to take out the LR Cooler for damage purposes. Um, tough call. Okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do that. I'm going to do that. I might look really, really dumb. I might end up looking really, really dumb, but this is... What I feel like is the right move. 
and I think it might be a mistake. <laughs> I think it might have been a mistake. Because <laughs> it looks like all signs are pointing towards us getting supered in that second slot. Okay, come on, give me some additional supers. Additional super attacks. Additional super attacks. Okay, we got one. Defense is still going to be pretty trash. Um, yep, there's a super. And... Holy crap. Holy crap. That is not fun. That is not fun, guys. Now, we did get the... The Bulma, which is why we brought her. And we also... Got some nice, um, what do you call it? We got some uh, nice healing from the Metal Cooler. I am going to go for the second Icarus, or rather the second damage reduction item. So we have the Whis and Icarus stack now, right? I think. And... I th yeah, I like, this is, this is okay. I feel like this is okay. Yeah, 54, 75. 6.8 mil for cooler. Of course, we're missing the STR TUR cooler support. So significantly less damage, but still decent damage nonetheless. And then the next time we come back, we should be able to launch the active skill, which is going to hit really, really hard. Nice, additional super, no additional super. We know the Fizz Cooler will hit pretty hard as well. Especially with multiple super attacks. Which he's not gonna give us. That's okay, that's okay. So, um, I'm gonna go, we're gonna go like that. And then, Icarus again. And well let's 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 pop this. You know what? Let me let me let me play the animation. It is one of my favorite active skill attacks in the entire game, so I gotta watch it guys. I'm sorry. I know some of you guys are like, bro, come on, like we're just here to watch you clear the event. So we don't need to see this animation anymore, but I wanna see this animation. I wanna see this animation. So I'm gonna play it. Oh wow, he's almost dead. <laughs> He's almost dead. <laughs> Yo. Uh, okay. I think we got this, guys. We don't even need the other cooler's active skill. I think uh, with one more attack from Metal Cooler, that's going to be all she wrote. That's going to be all she wrote. Yeah, no, he's got to be dead. He's got to be dead. And we got to be done. Unless there's a third stage I didn't see, but I think it's only two. And there you have it! There you have it. Now I did see some missions where you have to like, no item the stage. Which, I will attempt at a later date, but not right now. <laughs> right now, all I want is to clear the event. And we did that, so... Uh, it's done guys. We are complete- well... Not completely done, because once again, there are missions, which I will clear, but for now, we have at least completed our first runs of all six of the Fighting Spirit of the Saiyans and Pride of the Wicked Bloodline event. Let me see what kind of uh, rewards we get. Yo, these skill orbs are so good. These skill orbs are so good. Attack, level 5, and, uh, or rather, level 5, crit an additional, plus an attack as well. And yeah, I'm gonna have to give one of these to my coolers. Which cooler? The LR Final Form cooler, because my Fizz cooler only has no dupes, no dupes at all, so we can't give him gold skill orbs. But definitely one for LR Final Form cooler, and uh, I'll probably save the rest for when I get more dupes for my other LRs. So, guys, 
that's it. Look at those skill orbs, man. That's that's awesome. And I will try to come back and beat this stage with no items and also with the free-to-play Metal Cooler army. But for now, I'm just glad we got it done. So guys, thank you so much for watching. As always, uh, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. Sub to the channel if you're new. Hit that notification bell so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And until next time, have an awesome, awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.